Honorable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, while the food safety legislation has come before the House and uh, debated and passed, that hasn't taken away the interest and concern of Canadians in food safety. Um, I'm pleased this evening, Mr. Speaker, to have the opportunity to follow up on a question that I earlier uh, put to the Minister of Agriculture, and I got a response from the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Agriculture. That question was put on October the 2nd of, of last year. The essence of my question was the same as the series of questions that I had put to the Minister of Agriculture. And those related to the fact that while the Minister was bringing forward legislation to ostensibly uh, increase and protect uh, food safety for Canadians, there was very little attention being given to the uh, improved enforcement of that legislation. Um, obviously, we were raising a lot of questions in the House because of the fallout of the food recalls from XL Foods in Alberta. And, uh, the impact that that had to Canadians concerned about what they could serve their families for, for lunch and dinner, and also the impacts to the beef industry uh, in Canada. So we were deeply concerned that we would move expeditiously to strengthen the food safety regime to protect the very industry. One of the stalwarts of, of Alberta, historically, is, uh, is the cattle industry. And because, Mr. Speaker, I have a long-standing experience in enforcement, in the field of environmental enforcement, I have followed very closely activities at the federal and provincial and territorial level, and including for some First Nation governments, in moving towards more effective enforcement compliance policies to make sure that their laws or bylaws are effectively inspected and enforced. Um, I had a deep concern, which I'd shared with the House on a number of occasions, and my colleagues had shared, that the government did not seem to be admitting to the problems that uh, we were experiencing with effective enforcement of the food safety laws. While they were attempting to bring forward strength in laws, there was not the admission that they need to also strengthen environmental enforcement, I mean, pardon me, uh, food safety enforcement. Our party, we were a little concerned that uh, uh, when I raised uh, this question on October 2nd, the response by the Parliamentary Secretary was, to suggest to the House and in turn to the public that our party intended to oppose this improved food safety law, which was in, for, in, in fact complete misinformation, and indeed when the bill finally came forward, we all voted for it. Where the concern was, was that our party had put forward a series of amendments, 11 in fact, most of which were directed at ensuring effective enforcement of the Act. Regrettably, the vast majority of those amendments were refused. And so we continue to have the concern that while we have improved legislation that has come forward, there's a number of significant matters that would have improved and enhanced the, the food safety regime for this country. One of those was a whistleblower protection. Obviously, given the situation in some of these plants, it's very important that the workers feel free, that they can bring to the attention of authorities problems that they see on the floor that might affect food safety, particularly where they suggest, suspect there might be a, a violation. The government rejected that amendment. Other amendments inc included improved labeling of food, uh, requiring that there be specified training for the officers designated to do compliance verification. Also, we want to include a provision that is common in most regulatory laws, and that was to specify a peace officer had to assist inspectors where requested. A whole series of provisions which would have simply modernized the food safety regime in Canada. Regrettably, the government rejected those. So what I'm hoping in the response I get today is that the government has finally decided they will open up a discussion with the public, with inspectors, with those who work in the food safety industry, to talk about a more effective um, enforcement compliance regime for food safety. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Transport, Infrastructure and Communities. Well, Mr. Speaker, the member asks for a conversation about food safety. That's not what the Canadian people want. They want, as Elvis said, a little less conversation and a little more action, please. And action is what they get on this side of the floor. Uh, we have taken action to strengthen our food safety system with the legislation the member mentioned that we introduced and her party eventually came around to supporting. We've updated its, the inspe inspection approach based on a common inspection act activities and standard processes, delivered more comprehensive training to inspectors, implemented Health Canada's revised Listeria policy, increased CFIA's science capacity, built the modern electronic tools so that CFIA, the Food Inspection Agency, can 
share information more effectively with stakeholders, and we've provided better and more tools to frontline inspectors whose numbers we have expanded. As CFIA continues to modernize the inspection approaches, it will ensure that there continues to be enough inspection staff to protect the health and safety of, of the Canadian people. Our government has, in effect, uh, strengthened the efforts of CFIA enforcement by broadening its mandate under the Safe Food for Canadians Act. That came just before Christmas, thereby fulfilling the final recommendation of the Weatherall Report. The Act has many provisions that strengthen our food safety system, including giving CFIA the authority to mandate traceability for food processors. Comprehensive traceability systems will help the CFIA find non-compliant, high-risk products faster so they can get off the shelves quicker. The Act also allows CFIA to mandate the way in which food processors maintain their records. And it allows the agency to compel producers to turn off their records, to, to, to turn their records over to the CFIA without delay and in an appropriate format. Previously, food inspectors could keep their records with different levels of details. With this new legislation, CFIA can prescribe the type of information that companies must maintain. The consistency will make food safety investigations go much quicker and much more efficiently. Mr. Speaker, Canada has a world-class food recall system and acts immediately to alert consumers should unsafe food enter the marketplace. Our government is committed to making these instances even rarer, and I ask the NDP to work with us to make it so. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, in response, um, it is with regret that the Parliamentary Secretary continues uh, the misinformation. At no point in time did our party ever say they were opposed to improved food safety legislation, That's and we right. voted en masse the official opposition for the bill. What was regrettable is they refused to accept the proposed amendments which would have further strengthened and modernized uh, the food safety legislation towards effective enforcement. What is disappointing is unlike previous Conservative governments under the Mulroney government, when they tabled, uh, for example, in the mid-1980s, innovative um, Canadian environmental protection legislation, they tabled simultaneously an enforcement compliance policy. It was an historic moment, and the statement was made, a law is of no value, it's vacuous, unless you have effective enforcement compliance. And what we have continued to raise is, what is the problem? Why will they not open up to the public, to inspectors, to food safety workers, to review the enforcement compliance regime to make sure that it is sound as they say? Uh, Dr. Weatherall's report raised serious concerns with the enforcement regime. They have enacted on that report. We remain hopeful that the government will, in fact, finally admit that the big problem was with the enforcement of the regime to ensure that we don't have future problems. Let's open it up. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at some of the amendments we propose so that it's a modern, effective enforcement regime. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Well, we've already uh, taken the steps uh, to improve our system, to learn from the instances that have occurred. We updated the inspection approach based on common inspection activities and standard processes. We've delivered more comprehensive training to inspectors. We've implemented Canada, uh, Health Canada's revised Listeria policy, increased CFIA's science capacity, built electronic tools so that CFIA can share information more effectively with stakeholders. And better and more tools for frontline inspectors are now available. Those are tangible steps to protect the Canadian people. Thank you. Deputy.